from Tuttaparan district and uh, from a place called uh, Virapandi in Patnam. It's basically a Roman Catholic village. So you don't find any other religion or any other caste there. So it was very easy for me to grow, get, get along with the other people and be with the Roman Catholic faith throughout uh, my childhood. So uh, when I was in class 10, what happened was uh, right from the beginning of the class I was always because I have to write my board exams at the end of the year so I wanted to uh, get thousand for thousand hundred I don't know what fascinated me about the number thousand uh, the total is thousand hundred I wanted to get thousand so that was my prayer right from the beginning of the year so what happened I I worked hard and I prayed every day just for that mark one that four digits thousand so uh, and my board exams were during the Lent. So I, what I did, I decided that I'll go for uh, Way of the Cross every Friday. Even during my exams, I fasted every Friday just to get that four digits. Then it went on, I uh, completed my board exams. Then it, the, we had a youth retreat in Tutukaran. So I was there for three day, uh, four days. So what happened at the, uh, the day before the retreat was supposed to get over, I know that I'm going to get my results and I was there in the retreat. So we all cousins, we went there. So uh, one of my cousin, we didn't have mobiles at that time. So she called from a PCO coin booth to one of her friends to know what my mark was. When she said that it was thousand, you, I, I was jumping literally and nobody knew that it was for the digit and everybody thought that I have scored a good mark but I, I only know that I was praying only for that thousand and uh, it was uh, so surprising that each paper will be corrected by each dif different teachers in different region and even if they uh, total it together even if one per at least if one person corrects everything so at, he, she might have thought okay if it is 999 she'll put one mark and at least i would have got thousand but it was corrected throughout tamil nadu and finally i got that four digit thousand and that was the first time when i completely blindly blindly believed jesus without anything if i but at that time i thought if i do something then jesus will do something for me that was the faith i had but blind it was so blind that if I do something for Jesus, He will do whatever, whatever I ask. So then, when I went to college, I was like, we had a prayer group. We uh, we cousins formed a prayer group, and it it was named Jesus only, Jesus Prayer Group. So we were like praying for other people, for uh, people who are like very sick in in our village. So we used to go to their uh, uh, place and we used to pray. So then we I used to attend the retreats also. Then, then when it uh, when I w had to enter the college, I am little I, I like little creativity kind of uh, uh, thing. I didn't want to enter engineering properly. Then we went for a counselling. So it it is a uh, state counselling, where counselling is happening in four different region of uh, the state. Uh, four people at one time can choose the seats. So if I choose seat in one place, the other one will not get that seat. So it is, it, uh, it is happening parallelly in all the four places. So when I went for counselling in Madurai, I, uh, I decided that I have to do uh, fashion technology. It's a B.Tech, fashion technology. It is because my parents wanted me to study engineering and I wanted to do something in creative. So I thought this will be the best option. So when I went there, my uh, mom, my dad was little worried to take that course because he was not sure about what course it was. Then my mom said, uh, no, let her study what she likes. I know she'll come up. Whatever she takes and whatever she likes, I know she'll come up in her life. Then um, we went inside the counselling panel. When we were there, there was only one seat and I liked Coimbatore so much. For I don't know for, no, uh, for what reason. But I loved the place. I always wanted to stay there. And I said, my mom, I'll study there. I'll not go to Chennai. My mom was insisting me to go to Chennai, but I don't like the place. So I said, I'll go to Coimbatore. I'll do this uh, uh, course there in uh, uh, fashion technology. So my mom, when we were there, only one seat was left out in that college. Um, 
it was an option between like I don't know like in other three places there must have been uh, candidates but that was the one one option if I click here the even if somebody else clicks in some other place I wouldn't have got that seat so somehow I made it that is one mainly through prayers so I was literally praying that I need that seat because I I wanted this, this creative feel and I wanted to stay in Coimbatore this is the mainly main reason so somehow I, I got it so I was so happy whatever I wanted and I put it in prayers and I've got it so it uh, I never felt any struggle like I needn't do so much to get anything I just have to pray that was the thing at that point of time then when I went to college, I was away from my home. So uh, it, my college was nearly like one hour from the main city. So it was like little, very difficult for me to go to church, attend the mass and all. Uh, maybe once in a month I used to go to church, attend the mass. So I became, and the companions there were not of our faith. So uh, I was like mingling with them and I didn't know uh, that I'm slowly moving away from God. I didn't realize that. So at the end of the year, uh, I actually fell in a bad relationship and I had a tough time in that relationship. And I even like whenever uh, the person said like, you uh, get, get out of my life, I never wanted because I was so much uh, addicted or whatever to that person. But finally, at one point of time, when I realized after my college, when I was working in Coimbatore, I realized that um, he was not faithful to me. So, I don't know, at that point of time, I said, this is, and I'm going to put an end to whatever I'm going to do now. And uh, I just put an end. I just said him, I'm going to put an end because ultimately is not from our faith also so no point in fighting to my parents to get him in my life so if, at least if you would have been faithful i would have done that so you were not so let me put an end to it and uh, i just cut the phone and slept happily after a long time after a very long time then i was like very much uh, felt very lonely basically i felt very very lonely before that, like I know about the uh, Divine Retreat Center, but I have never been. So I didn't know where to go and hide myself. So that is the first time I thought, why can't I go there and uh, take a good retreat and uh, become new. So that is the first time I came here. I had a very good retreat. I made, I came to know uh, what a Roman Catholic faith is. What is uh, what is the meaning of a mass or a Eucharist or a confession? In that new covenant, I will forgive their sins. I will not remember their sins any longer. It is this new covenant that the Lord has realized in our lives today. And now this new covenant is fulfilled in the Holy Eucharist. In our lives, this new covenant is coming to an effect with this Eucharistic celebration. In the sacrament of confession, the Lord accepted us as we are, with all our sinfulness. In the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, the Lord gives himself to us in the form of bread and wine and we shall be one with him as he becomes one with us. As Jesus said, I in you, you in me. Even before in my uh, parish, we used to attend mass every Sunday, but still we, I never realized or uh, nobody taught me or the reason behind each and everything what we do. It was just a ritual that was happening there. So, but one day when I came here, I was completely touched by uh, the religion itself, maybe, the faith itself. I confessed to Father Michael Pyapali, then uh, I got counselling and uh, then I realised that my I'm going to surrender myself completely, completely to in God's hand, whatever be it. Whether it is my future, my marriage or my studies, let me surrender it to Him completely. Um, till then, till now, I don't take decision of my own. Because I know, I have learned, 
moving away from god taught me so much so now i have decided whatever it is in my life let me leave it in his hands and let him uh, give what he wants i was in coimbatore working for f- uh, 4 years and uh, to uh, at the end of two, uh, second year i wanted to search for another job because i found no growth in what i was doing so uh, what happened was i was trying to uh, apply for the jobs in all the other places i they call me but they'll reject me at one point of time in the interview at any stage they they, uh, they, they rejected me so there was an option of going to dubai so uh, when i was attending that interview um the it has a branch here in india also so but the headquarters is in dubai so i attended till the uh, hr round I, w- i was through in the hr round i don't know what happened and they said no uh, we are not taking you so i was like so rejected and uh, then i i said my i asked my mom like what is that i want to do in my life if i can't leave this company should i be here in this same company for all? i can't do that because i have i need a growth in my career also i need i need a exposure better exposure wherever i go so then um, my mom said you definitely you know that you have been through so many things and you know you have surrendered your life to jesus so be patient and definitely at right time he'll give you the right opportunity i was like waiting and i got married in the year 2000 may 2014 uh may 2012 i have here i was here for an inter- uh, retreat and may 2013 i was here for an inter- retreat and may 2014 soon after my wedding i was here because i know this is the only place which will give me the strength to start my new life so i came here for the uh, retreat along with my husband I had a good retreat but even at that time i had a fear what am i going to do in my career because even my husband is uh, so career oriented that uh, he doesn't want me to sit at home at any point of time he wants me to work even i am that kind of a girl so even i wanted to uh, make my parents proud so what uh, i was like uh, i cried so much here during the um, retreat and one verse again uh, clicked me that is Uh, Jeremiah 29:11 For I know the plans I have for you for not for your harm for your good and prosperity. So I always used to keep that in my mind. And the other one is if God be there for you who can be against you. So all the time I used to tell this if there is any problem in my life at any point of time in my life if I face any problem I used to tell only that verse. And um uh, then i attended two three interviews after my wedding i was still in coimbatore and i had to move to bangalore so i thought because my husband cannot come to coimbatore because he didn't he doesn't have a career growth there so we thought we'll move to some other place so i have to find a job anywhere else apart from coimbatore after the retreat in may 2000 it was between the time of engagement and the wedding all these happened so when i came for for the retreat in may 2014 i decided let me not worry about the job i'll be there in coimbatore let me let me decide, leave it to god and then we'll see i i i was very cool from may 2014 to till i got a job i was very cool i never bothered about i am attending i am not getting a job i didn't bother i didn't worry also even if he said something i didn't bother about it because i know god will give me the best and god doesn't want me to be away from him at any point of time because we are married so i know that somewhere something will happen so i was waiting somewhere uh, in the month of uh, september i i was applying through a job portal and uh, they got, i got a call from uh, these people the, the company where i'm working now and uh, in uh, before that i i was like going i was struggling myself to get into the uh, interviews but this was so easy that i didn't even have to travel to bangalore 
they just said we'll we'll have a call over skype and uh, if it is okay then you have to because being a designer i have to give my portfolio to them to see wh- what is my work so they saw and it was in a matter of 5 days i got the result that i am through and i can't imagine that i, ca- I you, nobody can believe that it is the same company the headquarters which is in dubai i'm working here now in bangalore in india so that was the i could say that is one of the another best moment the first one was in my 10th standard which i can still if i think i get the goose flesh i don't know why and the second time is with my job and i always wanted to get into a company which can take me to another next level so i waited and the long wait definitely paid me and it is it is only 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 because of lord jesus and nothing else and only his plans whenever we surrender our plans to him he will work or he will do miracles in our life so i got that uh, i got that faith and even now i am living only by that uh, even after wedding yes everybody has a problem but still only with that faith i am just moving moving on with my life after getting this job every day when i enter the company I used to thank God because it's a long wait and it is I received it from him. So I know how uh, how much important it is to me and I treasure it every day. And uh, I feel that uh, it is my responsibility to take uh, to uh, do my job in a better way because it's been given by God. It's not my own efforts or anything. So even sometimes when i feel very um, tired or when i didn't want to work here even in the new company i have a statue of infant jesus and mother mary in my desk so i'll tell them i don't know i don't want to work today but all that i have to do is i have to finish my work i don't know how i really i'm not motivated to work today maybe i'm tired or i'm not sick but still i want the work to be over today i want you to guide me and you believe me or not it happens at the end of the day i would have completed everything what i have to do for the day though i wouldn't have even uh, wasted my time i i didn't realize i wouldn't have realized that i'm doing it but at the end of the day if i see i would have completed the works what i have done so that that is how i even take it like every even not only in my office even at my work even at my home when i feel that i am tired and not uh, i'm not okay to do anything i just put it to them you do it for me i really don't have want to do today i just have to take rest but still you do it for me and i i see that result every evening i see it it's been completed some or the other i don't feel energized or something but the flow is there somehow i i get i get my work done some way or the other i don't know how every time when i come to divine retreat center i learn something about jesus and this time i learned about the love of god so now my i feel that the ultimate thing what i have to search for it is the love of god not anything else the rest will be given to me if i know how to experience the love of god if only i know how to experience the love of god and i i don't have to think about anything other than that if i do that i know everything will automatically come to me and i didn't worry about anything so i'm just trying to practice it now maybe uh, i don't know how to experience or how to i i know god loves us all the time but to experience it you need a grace the main thing is i need to search love from god or from him and through that i know that everybody when i have that grace or when i have that love within me i know i'll be a new creation and i know i'll be, i'll not be boring to anybody and i know like i have learned that i'll not be boring to anybody and that is how i think like i can be loved by others also without any efforts So I just have to thank God for being with me throughout my hard times and my happiness and throughout everything 
and till today i feel he is i have never seen one such person or one such uh, i don't know what how to describe him uh, it is i i i am really wordless to tell describe about jesus so every time when i see his face i feel that i am not worthy to be your kid but still you love me you you are so merciful that you love me so much and every time when i fall into something you you point out that you're falling you are at some way or the other you're telling me that i'm falling into it so you're taking me out of it and even though i don't have to ask you you're doing it yourself so i really have to thank god and i don't know how will i thank god in just words words are not enough maybe i have to live